1963, Gary Goodnight and Ron Love purchased a short wheelbase dragster chassis from Tommy Ivo and Rob Petmuller. They didn't know what they were going to do with it yet. Initially red, the car was soon painted blue, and Arnold Chavez, the engine builder, raced it up and down the West Coast from the 64 Winter Nationals all the way up to Washington until the summer of 64. When the team of Morris Williamson, Bob Keith and Gary Goodnight teamed together to take the car to England for the first British International Drag Festival with TV Tommy Ivo and Don Garlitz. The first British International Drag Festival of 1964 was a huge success. The Brits had never seen anything like American drag racing with Nitro and Bob Keith was the first guy to drive an American dragster that year in the UK. After England, the car was shipped back to the U.S. and Bob raced at the Winter Nationals. Let's look a little like men from outer space. And here's Bob Keith from San Jose, California to tell us why. Well, in the first place, we wear an asbestos fire suit. Uh, this, in case of an engine blow up, uh, we don't get burnt. Uh, it's uh, made out of an asbestos material. And uh, it's, uh, there's several different companies that make them. And they sure help save a lot of people's lives. Bob also raced at the uh, Bakersfield Fuel and Gas Championship before the car was shipped back to England, where it was purchased by the Croft Drag Racing Partnership. Unfortunately, they didn't have huge success with the car, and uh, it was eventually parked. U.S. Air Forceman Bill Weichelt got behind the wheel in 1969. Wild Bill's wildest moment emerging from the Piccadilly underpass. In 1971, Bill returned to the U.S. and he and the car disappeared for 40 years until Ray Evanham found it in Willie Glass's uh, welding shop in Manassas near Richmond, Virginia. Bob Keith had been looking for it for 40 years and never found it, uh, but here it was, pretty much complete, less engine, but in a remarkably good original shape and certainly well worth restoring. It was a very famous car in England and fairly famous in America. And luckily, Evan Ham was able to put the original crew, including Bob Keith and Arnold Chavez, back together to get the car restored for the reunion.